Hi friends, this is Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. I'm here today to talk a little bit about my stamp camp. If you follow along with what I do, you have been hearing some about stamp camp. It's on my website. I've talked about it a little bit in a couple of my videos, but I wanted to share some things about stamp camp coming up. Now, I need to give a spoiler alert. If you are coming to stamp camp and you want the projects to remain a surprise, then I suggest that you turn me off right now. But if you're coming and you don't mind knowing what we're going to be making ahead, then you're going to get to see a preview of all of the projects right now. So I'll tell you a little bit about Stamp Camp first. We make 16 projects. We do this all in about four hours. I offer different sessions. I actually op offer a couple of sessions in the same day. We do this all in four hours because I have everything, all the pieces cut and ready for you. You stamp what you need to stamp. Sometimes you do a little punching and you assemble everything and you get to go home with 16 projects. So in addition to your projects, you get to take home $25 in new products, and I, cho I choose papers and embellishments and ribbons, consumable things, so that if, if you already have a stamp set or a punch or something like that, um, I don't, you know, we don't, I don't have to worry about duplicating any of those things. We will be making this time, I believe it is three fall projects, one Halloween, and 12 Christmas. So. I know you want lots of Christmas cards, so we're going to make a lot of those with some fall things mixed in. So I'll go ahead and show you some of these. Now two of these you have possibly already seen. I am doing video tutorials on a few of these projects. This card right here made with the tree angle stamp set is one of the ones I am doing a video tutorial on. This one with autumn goodness with this really neat wheelbarrow I have a video on. Here we have the Love of Leaf set, just a really basic card with that set. It is so pretty. I love that leaf set. And we'll make that card. This one, I love this card. Uh, this paper is beautiful. Snowflake Splendor, I believe it's called, along with the glimmer paper and everything. All the coordinating pieces and parts. Just a beautiful card. And purple is pretty much my favorite, so that might be why I love that one so much. Bring in a few more. Here's the little treat box. This is one of the other ones I am sharing a tutorial on. And so I have shared a tutorial with this set, the Peaceful Nativity, but the one I made was way too involved to do at Steve Camp. So I came up with a super simple option. And you, this is a perfect card to make a lot of for Christmas. You could stamp these and get them sent out and in minutes. Uh, that one is really easy. This one, I love the evergreen forest embossing folder. And right now I won't remember the name of this tag punch in the stamp set, but just this is a really neat set that you can stamp and punch out quickly with the tags. And of course, little snowflakes are lots of fun on all of these projects. And okay, so if you have the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, you've seen this little guy. And I bet he made you smile when you saw him. Uh, the little gnome card is too cute. So that's a fun one. And I, I paired it with, I don't remember the name of this paper pack at the moment, but this really cute paper pack with the houses and the mountains and the happy people and Christmas trees. And I thought that looked really nice together. Here is a peace card with the really neat, uh, let's see, this set has peace, joy, and what's the third word in this one? There's a third word. So you can stamp them or you can die cut them. And that that's a really neat set you can do a lot with. And then this set with the old sleigh. I think that's a really neat vintage type card. I had shared a card a while back similar to this, but this one is a little bit different. But this is just such a neat set, that snowman. And we can't forget about Halloween. I know some of you love Halloween and some of you are not really that into it. So we're going to do one Halloween card. But this has our cobwebs embossing folder, which is really cool. And the designer paper pack, I used a little bit of that. And the cute little bat from the, uh, I'm trying to think the name of that set, the Banners Pick a Punch, I believe is what that coordinates with. And I do not remember the name of the stamp set at the moment, but we could look that up. 
And I feel as if I may have missed one here. So if I don't have 16, it's because something got lost. But we can't have Stamp Camp without making a card with this poinsettia set. And we couldn't have Stamp Camp without using some of this red and green foil. So we are going to use those products for this card, along with the Wonder of the Season specialty paper. Can you see that shimmering as well with the red foil? We'll make that. This one is a little pouch that you can put a hot chocolate packet or cider or something else small and cute in there. So now this, set, I, I when I do my stamp camps, I do all brand new products for the stamps and the punches and the dies. But this one, I made an exception because this adorable little mousse came out last year and sold out and a lot of people weren't able to get it. Since we only had it for a little while, I decided he was worthy of making his way into stamp camp. So I made this cute little pouch with him. And this one features our In the Pines set and this beautiful, let's see if I can remember the name, plush poinsettia vellum with the flocking or the white, white velvet or flocking accents on it. So just a really pretty clean and simple card with that pretty specialty paper. So we are going to have lots of fun at Stamp Camp, people who have been coming to these have been raving about them, asking me, you know, when I was going to have all the details out and ready. So I'm really looking forward to it. I know that my attendees are really looking forward to it. If you would be interested in coming, I would love to have you. I offer this in two different places, my current home in Northern Indiana and my previous home in Southwest Ohio. And I'm, it's a few different days where I'm going to have options. So if you want all the details, Go to my website, scrappingstampingandstuff.com. Click on upcoming events, I believe up there at the top. And then you can find all the details for the days and the places and everything. So if you cannot come, if you live too far away to come and you're not going to jump on a plane right now and come to Stamp Camp, then if you would like, I have put together tutorials for all of these projects that are available for purchase if you're interested in that. And the link for that is on the same page as all the details for Stamp Camp. So thanks for joining in. If you have been to Stamp Camp and you want to share a little bit about it in the comments, that would be fantastic. And hopefully I will get to see more of you this time at upcoming Stamp Camp. Have a great day.